Hey guys, the Night Flyer here, and today we will be taking a look at Destroy All Humans on the PC because um I've already I'm like I'm not gonna lie I've already played this on um Xbox but I just wanted to see if it's much different on PC. Fucking hell, this I'm sorry, but the speed of that loading in is already a difference. Humans of Planet Earth, be advised, while the experiences has been upgraded, the content and historical record of the original invasion of the Furans remains a near identical clone. The story cut that mic. Never read that fully on time. I'll let these play out for you guys first. Hello, friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? What marvelous beings might exist out there? Hands extended in friendship awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space. What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars? Little did he know that, uh, <laughs> essentially we want to fuck over the planet. Five. All systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby, show us what you got. Three. What the hell? Two. What in the blue blazes is that? One. No, wait, stop the countdown. Competent fool. I should never have sent you. What's shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word? Constipated. <sighs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this. But the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him... Crypto-136 to a hostile planet, and he's disappeared. Maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? The second one. <sighs> Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some craniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. Patience. I take your point. Prepare the mothership. That's what I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination. The planet Earth. So then, oh yeah, so I have to press enter to go in. 
I'm happy they've kept this as well. I don't even want to skip this. Every time I play this now, I just want to see that. Auto box to Cryptosporidium 137. Come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto! To ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul-smelling gas bags beyond the fence. Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. Now, Cryptosporidium! It's so strange playing this on PC, because I'm so used to playing this on console. Like, I just recently completed the old version of the game as well, now I'm here. Okay, can... wait, what? Oh, fucking hell, I'm pressing the wrong button, I'm sorry. They eat with their mouths? Ugh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. Attention, Earth creatures. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. Man, PKing, especially on PC, is so much more fun. Mm, Martha, you didn't tell me we was having barbecue for dinner. Wait a minute. That ain't steak. That's... Holy mother Martha, give me the shotgun! I never realized how many fucking cutscenes there was until now. Harold, come on back, you gotta see this! They got a talking horse on the TV! I ain't never seen nothing like... Ah! Little green spaceman! Ah! I am not... Green. I like the little detail they put in of Crypto smiling as well after that. Good work, Crypto. Wait, no. Give me probe, please. Evening, Ms. Turnip Seed. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. Little green face man! What is oh, that? A new silo? Electrocuted him with a big old Crypto! That uh, human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space-time continuum! I'm not saying I would. <laughs> Cause like let's be fair, crypto's not the big brain around here too. So 
way. Rotation and altitude. I know you can go up and down. Uh, Orthopox, can I speak, please? Thank you. do it before hold on yeah you can literally just press e and you can look at certain one of them and like you just you don't even need to use your guns the whole time as long as you're close enough to them you can literally just pick them brains out there are more to the north in the bushes i don't know where north is i'm docked how do i look down on this for it because like on console you can look down and point the laser straight down for somebody who's played this back in the original Xbox, it's weird to see how far I've come, like how I've got this fucking PC. And like, I, apparently I'm running everything in Ultra, you probably won't be able to see that because of my um, recording settings, but, you know, just take my word for it. Actually, better yet, where is it, video? Yeah, see, there you go, Ultra. see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the U.S. Army. Right. Good. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to Silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The eggheads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. And yeah, that's essentially it. Or at least for the demo, that's it. The old one's from 2005. This is 2020. Like, that's mad to think. This is like the better or best time to have a remake. I think that's really it. I'm not going to hold you guys any longer. Like, one question I will still have about this is, uh, why is this a big beam? It's beyond me, but I don't know. I, f I feel like they're just shooting you straight in the earth and nobody's going to notice that somehow. But then again, this is, was it, the 50s, I think? The 70s or something like that? And another little gripe I have with this, <laughs> it's such little stupid things, but whether or not I actually, like, adore this game, I really hope to play this eventually myself, if I get round to it. But I just, I don't know why, but I don't like this being here, the actual title, the one giant step on mankind. But then again, I think it's because I'm too attached to the original. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, obviously like it. Dislike if you didn't like it. Comment if you want, subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire. I've been the Night Flyer, essentially just reviewing the demo of the game. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.